This is the main program. This is the class that builds the widget, and this is the database. So we're now going to run the program. And you can see that the GUI opens up successfully. We have the database, the GUI. I click student details and we get to the home page and it's going to interact with the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for student 2. And as you can see, it finds Ogden Minich. I close that and then I am going to edit Ogden. Give him a new telephone number. Random telephone number. I'm going to click edit and it tells me that it was successful. Perhaps I should find him and check that it is 888. Okay. If I go over to the database and refresh the database. There's his old number, 555. If I refresh it, indeed it is 888, okay? So I close down. Perhaps I want to delete Ognia. I just click delete. It tells me it was successful close it and I will search for him. It says he's not found in the database. I close it and I check with the database that in fact by refreshing it he's disappeared. If I want to add a student. I simply give them a number that does not exist. Let's say he had a brother, Bill. the same number but he was in year seven and you can see these pop-up boxes are giving me some help anyway I click add it tells me it was successful and again I go over to my database and refresh and there we can see his brother has been added so Overall, we have a fully interactive database built in Python 3.4 with TKinter and PMW.